Hello, Archer and Evolution agents. We want to welcome you today to Downtown Travel Supplier Webinar, and we are so excited to have them. Just a reminder, you can find this recording in your Travel Cafe website um, under the Webinars and Training tab. So I'm going to let Steve and Bill take it away. Thank you so much for joining us today, Steve and Bill. Thank you Thank so you. much for having us. Uh, hello, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is staying safe. Uh, and staying sane. Um, so we are Downtown Travel. My name is Steve Rukin. I am the Chief Development Officer and with me today I have Bill. And I'm the Business Development Manager and your key contact for Archer with Downtown. Steve and I are both located in New York, but you can reach us pretty much anytime you want. Uh, downtown Travel itself. Steve, you want to take over or you want me to run through the first part of it? Um, sure, I'll, uh, I'll speak a little bit about who we are. So um, we are an air consolidator. The majority of kind of what we do is air. Um, we, uh, we sell about $3 million a day or um, anywhere from seven to 10,000 air tickets um, when the planes are actually flying in the sky, obviously. Um, we do anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000 groups per year. Um, we've been in business nonstop for the last 31 32 years um, and we provide with unparalleled access to the airlines. We have over a hundred different contracts. Um, and basically what we do is we get the best fares available from these airlines and we pass them along to our travel agent community like you guys. Um, but I think the greatest part about us is that we have a whole suite of products. Uh, we're not only an air consolidated, but we do groups and tours. Um, Bill, do you wanna to touch a little bit on the sure. specific groups? Sure. One of the key things to remember about groups with us is, of course, the number, uh, a group can start as small as 10. And I think you're going to see when we come out of this craziness with the pandemic, an awful lot of people going for smaller groups and a lot of family traffic travel appears to be coming up. So I think you're going to have a lot of interest in that 10, 12, 14 people groups so you're able to go in reach out to our group department and the greatest part of that really is when you come into the group department you're given to one group specialist and that person with with you uh, starts with you works all the way through the quote works all the way through the ticketing and then comes out and works with you completely uh, all the way to the final product. And it can actually help you even with things like deviations. Uh, the challenge comes in with name changes, they come up, but we're able to use the clout that we have with the airlines to assist you in all those areas. So that's one of the big things. Uh, additionally, we have a, a ground operation or holidays with downtown. Uh, and this serves two things. One, it allows you to do uh, packages to well over 80 countries, um, FITs, groups, customized programs. Uh, but the real key with that as well is it gives you access to not only because of that, you also have access to leisure fairs, which we'll talk a little bit more when we go into the uh, demos, but a leisure fair is something that you can only get through the leisure department and it has to have a little land, land component to it, but can save your clients a lot of money and can assist you in making it more additional funds. So that's the holidays with ground, downtown and there were over, uh, as I said, almost 300 different packages available in 80 some countries. So, Steve, you're yep. on. So, um, <laughs> The, the big reason why we brought you guys here today and why we're um, partnering with Archer and then doing all these webinars is to get you guys um, hopefully situated on our booking engine. It's about uh, two years old at this point. And um, here the URL is thebestagent.pro. Super easy. And what we did here is um, powered by GDS on the back end. We tried to make it as easy and as simple as possible. We wanted to make it look and feel like um, any old travel website. Um, there's no GDS knowledge required. Um, but I think the best way to kind of show you the power of the tool is just to do a quick demo. Um, so let me just do, how about New York City to Rome? Uh, let's go in September for two weeks. 
here you can filter by the number of people. Um, you can choose a cabin class. We'll stick with economy for this one. You can filter by airline up front if you know you need to be on a specific airline, but we'll find the flights. Um, so what this is doing is it's pulling inventory from GDS on the back end. So like I said, um, you have Sabre and Amadeus. Um, and I think what's interesting now is you'll see that a lot of airlines are actually renegotiating their contracts with um, one of the, one or two of the GDS systems. So they actually may not even have, like if you're using Sabre only, for example, you may find that um, Lufthansa, who is now negotiating their contract, isn't actually loading all their fares in there. Um, so here you'll always know that you'll have everything. So here's our output. Um, right away, you'll be able to filter by nonstop. Um, you'll be able to filter by published fares or net fares. And so you can see right away the difference. And this is the power of an air consolidator. So our Delta flight up here is uh, 859 net, and then it jumps to 920. Um, as the published fare. Um, and we can hide basic economy. So because no one really wants to sit in basic economy. And here is something really cool on a public on a published fare, you'll see right away the commission you would earn, which is 3234. Um, so if I just undo all the filters just to show you guys the plethora of options, you have all the airlines up here. Um, and then down here you'll have departures with the same return returns with the same departure. And then even below, you'll have literally every option under the sun uh, for the dates that you picked. And I know we all are trying to avoid basic economy, which is why we try to call it out as clearly as possible. You'll see in the red letters, basic, um, so that you can quickly avoid it. Um, so let's hide it. Let's go back to our nonstop um, net fare Delta flight. Let's go ahead and book that one. So here you'll see the booking class. You know, you have a baggage allowance of one bag. We try to call it out. Um, down here, you can see the fair rules. And what we like to recommend to people is you go ahead and you just actually copy and paste this into your card authorization form that you're sending to your passenger. That way they know and you know um, and everyone agrees to the fair rules so that there's kind of no, nothing hidden. You put in your passenger information here, um, your passenger contact. And my absolute favorite part of the system is down here. So here, you're, here you can input your actual markup. And what we do for you is we calculate the max markup where your client is only going to see one line, one charge line item. In their, in their credit card statement. So anything up to this $94 max markup will appear as just a single line item. So if I were to put $50, I would apply that um, and the passenger would only see a single 937.46. And then no one should really be working for free. So let's put in $120, we can apply that. So they would see a merchant charge of 2680, which is just that difference between your max markup of $94. Um, and um, right there you can, that's how an easy way just to make um, quick money and it's a simple way. But if you wanna wow your clients, you can also go into the negative. Um, you can put negative $50 and apply that. Um, it works both ways. One of the important things coming out of this this craziness that we're in is all the different webinars that we've been sitting in. And uh, as we come out of this, more almost all agencies are going to be charging a service fee or a merchant fee. Uh, no one wants to work for nothing. And with the range of problems that have come up, uh, more and more agents are applying that service fee. So don't be afraid of it. Uh, keep in mind that if you call a tra if you call an airline and you go through the airline res system, you're gonna be pay, if it's a client calling in, they're gonna be paying between 35 and $50 generally for that same ticket to the airline in addition to whatever fare you have. So you're getting the same thing for them without having to pay that much. Absolutely, and when you toggle back and forth between those net and published fares, you'll see the, the spread right away and you'll be able to say, hey, I see that there's a $100 difference between whatever my client is gonna actually see online. 
So feel free to kind of charge anywhere between there based on the relationship with your client. Um, but I, I know that's, you guys are the salespeople. That's what you guys do best. So um, I know you guys will make the, the best choices there. Um, but just to continue here in the orders section, um, that's where you'll be able to see everything that you guys have booked. You can click in here and manage. Um, you can send the itinerary to the passenger. You can download the passenger itinerary. Um, this ticket's already left, but if it was within the proper time periods, you could cancel the PNR, you could void it. Um, so you would have full control. And once you're approved for ticketing, it's completely 24 seven ticketing access. Um, you don't have to wait on us. You can do it all on your own. The and key, to, key for that, it comes in a lot of times, as you know, you'll get a client who'll call you on a Saturday night and for whatever reason in their minds, they need to have that ticket done right away. You're able to do that and you don't have to be trying to reach someone 24 seven, you know, at 1130 at night, you're able to handle it and solve the problem that, yourself and make your life easier. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. That was, um, thank you for that. So something that's super topical right now is all of the um, different airline policies and the different travel restrictions that are going on um, here in updates and policies. We have all of those. It takes you to a link to our downtown travel website. Um, it has all of the different sort of tools and links that we trust. Uh, my favorite is Trips Guard. It'll you can literally input whatever country you're going to, and it will tell you what the um, restrictions are, so you can immediately tell your clients. Um, but on our homepage, uh, we'll, down here we actually have we'll always put um, links. Sorry for that. We'll always put links for um, generally what things that are going on and any messages we want to communicate to you guys. Um, and that's really pretty much the entire system. Again, we tried to make it literally as easy as possible. Um, so a couple of things that we're in the works of doing is we're adding seat maps um, and coming in about August or September, we're actually going to have a full fledged hotel program as well built into this tool. So you'll be able to not only book the air, but you'll also be able to book the ground. Um, and so we are actually very much looking forward to that portion of it. You also, um, you also have the car rental program that uh, was just going on at the start of the pandemic, but that will be a, a tool that you'll be able to access at the same time. Uh, so really and truly, it's going to make uh, a lot of your life easier because you're going to have a one-stop um, one uh, shop for a lot of what's going in and what's going on. Important thing to note here, when you're booking, uh, you cannot normally book within two weeks of departure, and that's really to avoid a fraud, but that's an important point just to keep in the back of your head as well. Yeah. Steve, I think we'll show, throw the user guide later on maybe and just to run through how to do it, but this will give yeah, you- Yeah, so I'm, speaking of fraud, there are a few uh, things that we do on our end um, to prevent fraud. So we actually partnered with the largest database of stolen credit cards and IP addresses. So um, any any uh, sort of credit card that's processed through here, we run through there as well. Um, we can toggle on and off departures within two weeks, and then we can toggle on and off um, departures or destinations, certain destinations um, that are generally hotbeds for, for fraud. Um, and then we also, can toggle on and off um, accepting credit cards that expire within two months. Obviously, if you call us and say, hey, I have a passenger leaving tomorrow, um, can you please turn off the two weeks so we can do it in a second and you'll be on your way. Um, there's one thing I did wanna show here. Um, hopefully they have it here, yes. So, um, <laughs> What a lot of the airlines are doing now is uh, what they call their family affairs. Um, and it's uh, just their way of helping agents to upsell while they're on the phone. So what we did is we input it um, and tried to make it super simple. So right now this person is in basic economy for $96, but you're on the phone and you say, hey, I can upgrade to the main cabin for $70 more. And that's gonna include all of these different things. Um, and maybe even we can get them to Comfort Plus for another 98, um, but we tried to make it kind of as simple as possible for you guys to be able to get as big of an upsell as possible. Um, 
So I use the example for a domestic flight because it all depends on how the airlines are filing it. Um, but we've seen it on a lot of international flights as well. I know TAP is actually one of the best airlines for filing their family fares. Um, so that is pretty much the entire system. I'll actually log out and show you guys the best way to um, register. And so you're just going to the bestagent.pro in any browser. And then you click on register agency. And it takes about 30 seconds. You fill in your email password, all of this fun asterisk information that I'm sure you've put in a million times. And here's the most important part. You're going to check off I'm affiliated with consortium or host and you select Archer Travel right on top, alphabetical first one. And that's it. And then you register and you'll be free to um, play with the site. We'll send you, we'll email you immediately instructions on how you can apply for ticketing. We'll need a few more pieces of information from you about your agency specifically um, so we can approve you. And it's a two-step approval process. Archer approves you and then we approve you. Um, you sign a quick contract that um, basically says that, hey, I'm, I'm going to be ticketing and I'm responsible for these tickets that I'm putting forth. And, um, and that's about it. One of the important parts right here, of course, is this information that you have, agency name, your name, that's all got to be your information. We have Archer and we're tying you directly to them, but you want to put in there uh, your, your name, your last name, and the agency name you can put in. If you're an LLC, you can put your LLC name in. Uh, if you're a, a sole proprietor, uh, working as an IC, you can put Archer Travel backslash your name. Uh, pretty much anything that's got the, it's all your information. So, and then immediately once you hit that, I'm affiliated with Consortia Host, you're tied into uh, Archer. And um, I think that is about it. I will leave you guys on the page with our contacts while we take some questions. Um, so you have Bill over on the left, you have me in the middle, and then we have dedicated reps who actually handle all of the support for the booking engine. Um, I think as you saw before, we have offices on the East Coast and the West Coast. So um, we kind of try and follow the sun and answer um, emails on pretty much every sort of time zone. We also have support overseas um, that in case of emergencies can always um, dial in as well. Important to remember, if you need anything, please reach out to myself, Acacia, or Karina L, uh, Steve. Uh, if you need help when you're doing the registration and you uh, want help, just give me a shout and I'm more than happy to go on, set up a quick little one-to-one -to, -one to help you walk through it. Uh, but we are available for you. We, we're very hands-on and uh, out there to work with you. So what what questions do we have out there? Any Anything we can answer? Thank yeah, thank you. Um, we had a question on registering because you just went over it. Um, they just want to know they write their own agency website when they register, correct? Um, correct. It's not Archer Travels. Right. Correct. Okay, perfect. And then they click register agency and not agent because someone asked about what email they should use, but I think they probably clicked the agent one then. Yeah, the agent. Register yeah, agent. Right. If you're in this one, that's the wrong place to be. We want you in register agency. Okay. Um, a question, also another one. Do we register for both best agent and holidays with downtown travel? No, once you're registered with the best agent, you are um, registered with the entire suite of downtown travel products. So um, you don't need to do a double registration. Perfect, thank you. Uh, next question, is your website's uh, tool good for domestic travel as well? Yes. Yep. Perfect. Um, next question, how far out can we search on your system for, tra for booking travel? Um, so that is completely dependent on the airline's filing. Um, so generally, 
again, correct me if I'm wrong here, Bill, but generally it's about a year. I know some airlines have even filed 18 months in advance, but again, completely dependent on um, when the airlines are actually putting out the fares. Well, rule of thumb guys is basically if it's a figure 11 months before you want it to depart, and that's about where you're pretty safe. Now, if you come up with something that's a little further, you may check, and if it comes up not available, give us a call. We'll we'll track it down and see where it goes for you. But generally, that 11 month to one year period is what you you're pretty locked in on. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, next question is: Are these prices commissionable? And if they are, what is the commission rate? Okay, your com your published fares are commissionable, and it will actually give you a number. Uh, which we showed you a little earlier, uh, it, when you pull up a published fare, that's the same fare that, <clears throat> that an agent would be looking at at an airline, only you don't make anything from them. We actually have a contract that gives you a commission. It's not a percent, it, it varies, uh, it, it's not a straight percentage, let's put it that way. So, but it does actually show you what the commission is right off the bat. And that's where you get a little bit of that play that Steve was showing you, where you look at the net and you look at the published and you see which is your best deal. If, if that answers the yeah. question. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect, thank you. Um, do you have tools such as marketing items on your website as well? Uh, what are they looking at? Like if they could just, intense, just tell us, uh, what are they looking for for marketing items? If it's in the tour end, we'll help with any of the uh, development of any flyers or anything they need for a group. Uh, we, as far as the marketing of, of downtown travel uh, or the best agent pro, this is an important part here is for you to know, this is strictly a B2B product. Your consumer, your client can never get into this site. So they are never gonna come back to you with that infamous, well, I found that flight for 11 cents less. They can't say it, Yeah. period. So. That, that's really such a great tool and, and that's super helpful for our agents as well. Um, let me see what other questions we have. Oh, um, can we please see your contact information again? Absolutely. Sure. Um, next question. Are we able to contact you? Do you do group bookings? Absolutely. You can call, uh, you can call groups directly. You can also send me an email and we'll take you over and connect you with the manager of the group department. Uh, I think, do we have groups on there? Yeah, it's in the bottom oh, right. right. Right there, right on the bottom. Groups at downtowntravel.com. You, if you have groups that you want to reach out to me, please feel free to. I'll take you and direct, connect you directly with our manager uh, in the uh, Atik. He'll get, assign you to a group specialist. And that's one I, I really like to emphasize that because Unlike dealing with a uh, airline group department, the person you start with, you work all the way through. You're not just a number or something to them. The person, you can reach that person. You have the group specialists, direct phone number and email. You have a teak, the manager's direct phone number and email, and you have mine and you have Stevens. So if you need something, you got someone to run down to find out for you. Perfect, thank you. Uh um, next question, how competitive, um, wait. Oh, I think they meant to say, how competitive are these prices? So, uh, go ahead, Steve. <laughs> I mean, the net, the net fare is the absolute lowest price that is available, period. So it's, it's specifically designed for travel agents. It's specifically not distributed out to OTAs like Expedia or booking or anything like that. Um, so I think the simple answer is as competitive as it gets. And actually it goes one step further because a net fare is not available to anyone besides a, a consolidator or through a consolidator. The other thing to remember the pricing on a published uh, may 
be the same, but it's a published fair that you don't make anything on. Whereas with us, you do. Perfect, thank you. Um, next question is, do you cover all airlines or just certain ones? Our portfolio has about 110 airlines. Um, we do not cover low cost carriers, um, but for pretty much 99.9% .9 of all the, the large carriers, we that's, that's all content that we have. Another important thing to remind, remind you about there is basically if an airline that we have a contract with or is working with, wherever they fly to and from, we can help you with. So one of the things, let's say you have a, uh, you're doing a family reunion and you have eight, 10 people here in the States and you may have someone coming down from Canada, assuming that it's a normal time and you can fly places, but we can even help you with that inbound in many cases so that you get picking up some revenue that was normally not available to you. Perfect, thank you. Uh, next question is, I'm an international agent from Australia. Would I be able to use your booking tool and website as well? Absolutely. We welcome, we welcome agents from all over the globe. Perfect, that's great to hear because we have a lot of international agents in Mexico, Australia, and the UK. Um, next question is, can you add on or use a client's flying points? uh yes you can well you can you can use them you can acquire additional points and the client can go back to uh up and request an upgrade but you can't mix and match as far as payment if that makes sense to you it's got to be you you do get the mileage and you can use them uh, or request an upgrade but you can't necessarily uh but get a free ticket on miles and then try to upgrade. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Are you showing us an example right now or? I was just gonna go to where um, the drop down is for adding um, frequent flyer numbers and all of that. Oh, perfect. We can go to the next question while this loads. Okay. Um, I'm seeing if I missed any questions. No problem. I just got here. So down here you can, uh, you'll see all the different programs that are connected to um delta so you can input that number here so if you have the flying blue you can put the bonus card number um, and that'll apply to your passengers miles perfect thank you uh, next question do you have an email or um itinerary copy we can send to our clients once we book absolutely so i'll show that again you go into orders you go into manage the order and right here, send itinerary to passenger. And if you want to take a look at it before it's sent, you can download it um, over here. And what you'll have there is uh, it, will, it will show your agency information because this one is mine, but um, it will normally show whatever agency um, did the booking. So they won't see that, you know, you're using like any third party or anything like that. Perfect, thanks. Um, this one says, I joined late, but I will go back and watch the beginning. But my question for now is, is this only for airlines? Uh, yes, it is only for airlines with uh, hotels and cars coming soon. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Um, I'm seeing if any other questions come in, but that does seem like um, the last question we have for now. We had a lot of good questions today. Um, so 
Is there any closing uh, statements while we wait to see if we have any questions that you guys want to say? just want to say thank you so much for doing this today. This was such a wonderful uh, training and webinar about your product. Well, basically, uh, go, ahead, yeah, go ahead, Steve. I'll, I'll go after you. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, for us, um, obviously, for all of us, the most important thing right now is to just kind of be safe and take all the proper precautions so that, you know, we can all start getting back into a good flow of business and um, be making money together and have these planes start flying again. Um, and we'll be there now. And then when that ends up happening and uh, we're here to support you guys. Um, so thank you to everyone that joined. Um, and thank you, Amanda, for hosting us. And again, uh, Amanda, thank you for hosting us and helping us with this. And for the agents out there, please, Keep in mind, we're always available for you. If you need any assistance, you've got the different contact names there. I know there's a listing for us. Please don't hesitate. Uh, if you need something, if you have a question about anything, reach out. I'm usually available pretty much any time. Uh, Cassia and Karina L are both very, very attentive to what you need. The group department is uh, second to none. Uh, and again, please stay safe and uh, this too will pass. We're beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So let's just hope everything comes through sooner than later. Thanks a bunch, everyone. Awesome, thank you so much. And we had one come in um, as well as many people saying, great training, thank you so much. This was excellent and um, they just appreciate it. But the last question that came through was, will you be adding rail as well? We do not have plans right now for rail. Um, but I do believe Holidays has access to some good uh, rail programs. Um, and I know, Bill, you I think you've worked in the past with some rail programs that we can definitely. Yeah, we, what's happening is we're just in the final, uh, uh, as part of groups, as part of the, the package, the uh, tour programs, we are going to have access to many, 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 many of the uh, rail programs you're looking for. Uh, we have worked with a lot of folks with it, and we will be continuing to expand our group program as well. So the answer is not right this minute, uh, but on the group side, we'll be able to help you pretty much anytime you want to start. Okay? Definitely. Perfect. Again, I just want to say thank you so much. This is so informative and such a great training, and we can't wait till your next one, which is coming up soon. Um, so everyone, please join us back again for their next training with us, and we are so excited to have you guys again today. So thank you so much, um, Bill, and thank you so much. Um, um, Stephen, sorry, <laughs> I lost my train of thought for a second. Thank you, Stephen, and thank you, Bill. This was just such a great webinar. Thanks, everyone. Everyone have a really nice 4th of July and stay safe. Thank you. Okay.